There isn't enough darkness in all the world to snuff out the light of one little candle. In a world filled with darkness. Only light can define your path. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is RGJ Runner and welcome to Dark Silence and I hope you did not mind me narrating the intro there which for a free indie horror was absolutely stunning. I would even go as far as saying phenomenal. My god that looked like something that should be lined up at E3. But either way let's get right into it. Um, but I see no, no nothing, just Dark Silence. So far it's living up to the title. It is dark, but it's not so much silent. Oh wait, whoa, whoa, instructions, play. This menu, lads, whoa! I can tell how much detail, work and effort went into it, whoa! God damn, that is crazy! All right, but first, um, yeah, I think I'd best look at the instructions quickly there. I'm assuming it's the WASD. Oh yeah, WASD to move, open, close, inventory is I, use interactive objects with E and switch on lighter is the mouse wheel. Okay, fine, we get a lighter. Okay, very nice. Not your typical uh, flashlight horror ordeal. Okay, let's get into it. By the way, I should mention, it's sort of inspired by Silent Hill and Resident Evil. So yeah, I'm going into this very optimistic, although slightly cautiously. Hold on, dialogue. Ah, uh, my head! Where am I? All I remember was being in the car. Uh, I didn't catch the rest of that. Fuck it. It's moving way too fast for me. Mom? Michael? Where are you? Okay, and just like Silent Hill, it starts off with a car crash, so maybe this guy is already dead and is in purgatory or in a coma. That's what I get from it, at least. That, and he seems to be running pretty damn slow for some reason. Why is that? Why can't you move any faster, dude? It's not my computer, surely not. I mean, the camera seems to be moving at a decent pace. Well, yeah, he, he's turning fast enough. But it's like he's... It's like there's a moon gravity turned on, what the hell? Okay, so far, this is just one of my quips with it. Maybe it's just something to do with the intro, I'm not sure. Come on, man. Oh, now he's strutting. <sighs> if this is the way he's going to run, I'm going to have to cut out a lot of parts of this video. No more dialogue. All I remember is sitting in the back of the car with my brother. And now I'm here. Okay, second quip. The dialogue is moving way too fast. Can barely keep up, dude. Okay, so far so good. We're on a main road. It stretches for quite a bit. At last, I found a road. It looks like it stretches for miles. Oh, I was just saying that. Wow, this game knows more about me than I do about it. 
And there's some bright light off in the distance. What it is, I cannot tell. As of yet. We'll get there eventually. Is that a gas station? Maybe you can find some help there. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Who knows, but more than likely you'll just end up in trouble. I mean, this is a horror game after all. Of the psychological kind, I do believe. Ooh, Gosh Creek. And... A number 9 numerical value. I have no idea what that is. It could be population density. It could be mileage or kilometers. I don't know. It's very vague. Okay, I'm going to head to the shack first. It looks very inviting. It's got a nice warm glow. Uh, take your time, dude. Could you be any slower? Oh, and n now he's strutting. Will you, will you stop that? Okay, what's in here? And you know what? He kind of looks like Quentin from um, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. At least, um, the character in Dead by Daylight. It's a very similar model. Kind of. Because you know with the Dead by Daylight DLC, Nightmare on Elm Street, Quentin comes with it. Alright, I got a key. I got store key. Okay, right, let's ransack the store. I mean, um, let's investigate the store and get some help. All the while doing this positive, confident strut. Now, all I need to do is set this strut to a beat. That would make for some... Pretty interesting video footage. The door is locked. No shit. Can I use the key, please? Oh. Wait, hold on. Uh, we have an inventory here. Ah, okay. It's this kind of uh, game then. Oh, no, no. I didn't want to inspect. I wanted to use it. Thank you. Alright, the door is now unlocked. Oh, just door animation style. It's definitely Resident Evil-esque. Okay, what's happening? What is that sound? I can't see anything. Any light? Okay, turn on the lighter. Yeah. Like, what the fuck was that? It stopped once I turned my lighter on. Yeah. Ah, well, you know, these paranormal things, they don't really have much sense to them. I need to see if I can get the lights on. Fast. Alright, let's do some exploring around here then. Wait, did I see something glowing there for a sec? Or is that my lighter reflecting off something? Oh, hold on, hold on. E, e, e. Local beer. I don't think I'm old enough yet. Uh, we've all done underage drinking at some point. Oh, knock yourself out, dude. Wait, I do see something glowing. What is this? Can I not interact with it? A teddy bear. Ooh, you picked up a teddy bear for some reason. Oh! Its eye seems to be slightly dislocated and it is also covered in a red substance. One can only assume jam. Or uh, something more grisly. Blood. Oh, oh my ship. My load is going out. Turn that shit on. Okay, good. Uh, gotta go to my inventory again. And inspect this, you uh, inspect item. It seems like a worn out teddy bear. I'm not sure, but I think it might be covered in blood. Oh God, why is this even here? He says in a crappy dialogue voice. Okay, I uh, don't know why I picked up a teddy bear, but I assume it could be useful for something. For what? I do not know what we have here. Oh, we got him. Oh, shit. I was just about to say we almost got the shit. It is pretty handy, though, seeing as we do have toilets right in front of us. Okay, we got the male and we got the female. And my lighter's going out again. Shit, there's definitely something wrong with this place. No shit, dude. Okay, we got male and female, and seeing as gender is fluid, I'm going to go into the female toilet because you know today, fuck it, I feel like a female. Dude, looks like a lady. The door is locked. Oh no, my oppression! 
This game is oppressing me. I want oppression points. Give me my oppression points now. Okay, but seriously, no. No more of that. We don't need any social justice political commentary. What we need to do is get to the bottom of mystery. And did I just see something crawl across the ceiling? Eh, it could have been just a giant spider. Who knows? So what are we doing doing in here? Just taking a piss? Okay, I guess not. Okay, we got some weird ar artifacting going on with the reflection here. Oh, no. Leave that on, please. Thank you. Yeah, that reflection looks a bit strange. So what are we supposed to do here? I see nothing to pick up. Can I go into the jacks? No. Look out the window. And watch something scary drag me through. Oh wait, I can't go out the window. But I won't... Oh. Okay, here we go. Wait a second. Weren't we just out here? Oh, I'm on the other side of the fence. Ah, oh, alright. Okay, but what are we supposed to do out here? It's not very obvious. Seriously, will you stop running like you've got a pole shoved off your arse or something? What is... What is with this running mechanic? It's fucking weird. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna be... Cutting a lot, a lot of footage out of this. Just mainly the slow running parts. Oh, oh, hold on, I saw something glowing. A kid's shoe. Oh, look at that for detail. And this too looks to be covered in blood. Let's see. Inspect item. Oh shit! It's a shoe soaked in blood. Thank God it doesn't look like Michael's. But then, whose is it? Good question. We'll probably find that out later in this game. Or demo, whatever it is. I think it's a demo. I okay, just want to explore back here. Just see what it is that we're dealing with. Oh. We have a bit of a cave entrance. Ooh, this this could be spooky. Alright, bring it on game. I'm ready to get the pants scared off of me. But then again, I rarely wear pants. But today is one of those rare exceptions where I am wearing pants. The door's locked. Oh, right, fine. Never mind. That was useless. Alright, back here again. There's this door we can go through, I think. Unless we need another key. Oh, no. Okay. It happened to be conveniently opened. Be gone, thoughts! Just wanting thoughts for is the light. The light of a cigarette lighter. What do we have here? Looks to be a safe. A fairly modern fortitude safe code. It, it is locked. Okay, so it's a code finding game or something like that. Or to be honest, it could be a key finding game or a key finding simulator. What? What hell is this? What? What hell is this? It seems like random photos of kids. I just hope Michael's okay. Okay, I think... It, that is me meant to say, what the hell is this? It seems like random photos of kids. I just hope Michael's okay. There. I corrected it for you, game developer. You owe me one. You gotta get that English right. You picked up a female toilet key. Does that mean the key is female? Or is it that it is a key to a female toilet? I'm assuming the latter. But then again, it could be the prior. I do not know. I like to keep an open mind on these types of things. Oh, there's no reason as to why I should be running this slow. It's a hindrance. Yeah, okay, doors now unlocked. Now what spooks await me in here? Oh no! 
A bucket! An out of focus bucket! <laughs> Wait, never mind, it's in focus now. Ooh, that is a handy feature to have on doors nowadays. <gasps> An automatic locking door. That is pretty handy, but was that supposed to be a scare at that time? Didn't really feel or seem all that scary. Oh, somebody's going to come running out of here now. Just you wait. Three, two, one. Okay, something or someone screamed and the toilet door or the cubicle door got blown off. So I'm assuming I have to go into this cubicle. Looks like that. Oh, no, turn on. Okay, we picked up the panel opener. Okay, first we need a panel uh, to open. I'm not sure where we're going to find one of those, but I guess I haven't explored the store properly. Uh, so far, this game is let down in terms of scares, but at least it's it's a hell of a lot better than Insomnus. Oh, there's another door here. What door is it? Oh, it's for storage. Oh, okay. I'm guessing the door panel or the floor panel is behind this door somewhere. Possibly. Nope. I need my light, thank you. Cannot see without it. And no scary ghost demon thing. I do not feel like playing ball right now. I got stuff to do and things to find and people to meet. And floor panels to crack open. Oh, here it is. Oh, uh, yeah, I keep forgetting to have to use my inventory to do this. Alright. Yeah, leap. Okay, floor panel is now unlocked. Down the ladder I go. Oh, and here I am. In another dank, spooky place. Kind of reminds me of the alleyway that you go through in the beginning of Silent Hill on the PS1. You know, with the funny camera angles and... What the hell? You know what? <sighs> These a demon thing running across the floor ain't so scary. To uh, I'll be honest. It doesn't feel like I'm under any immediate threat. I mean, once I know I'm in, uh, I'm in the light. I know I'm I'm safe. So that kind of takes away from the aspect. To, the, so it kind of takes away from the scare aspect of it. Alright, I think there's a phone in the shop. Maybe I could use it to call for help. Oh, alright. But I'm guessing it's not going to be as simple as that. No. You're going to have to find a battery for it or, or something like that. Or the cable will be cut and I'll need to weld it together. Oh, wait, but I have a lighter for that. Huh, it might be straightforward. Who knows? Okay, Jesus Christ. What? In the name of Michael Bay, is this what is with the crazy lens flares? If there's one thing that really gets me in indie games or indie horror games of any sort, is when the developers feel the need to you know, include these crazy strong ass lens flares. My eyeballs aren't lens flares. This isn't a Michael Bay movie. There doesn't need to be lens flares, it doesn't make the game any better. Ah, oh, man. Okay, I got a clipboard. What does it say? The key code 8008. Ha! Oh, oh, I get you. 8008. If you put that in on a calculator, it spells boob. Ha! 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 A very 90 slash early 2000 joke. Yeah, that is pretty stale at this stage, I'll be honest. Then again, so is my humor. Okay, can I put this down now? Thank you. Can I use the phone? Probably not. The phone is on, but there's no cable connecting it can like connecting it to the landline. There must be one around here somewhere. And I'm guessing it's in the safe. But then again, maybe not. I think if I did give a wild guess, just a very wild guess, there's gonna be a key in the safe that'll allow me to go into the bunker which 
in which case I will find said cable down in said bunker. That is just a guess. Maybe it might be the cable, who knows. The bunker might be optional, but I doubt it. It's the key. And I was hardly expecting cash money, although that is normally what you expect a safe to contain. All right, into the spooky basement. I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you know who also said that? Obi-Wan Kenobi on the Th Trade Federation spaceship. And you know what? He was right. Star Wars references are always relevant, by the way, in every situation. Uh-oh. Oh, hi! I knew it! I knew that there was some spooky ghost demon child. Hey, I can be wherever I want to be. I'm a grown man. Okay, that was the least scariest thing in the game. Was that a little girl? I suppose, yeah, you could call her a little girl, although I would call her a little ghost demon. Okay, music box. <clears throat> a music box. Is this where that music was coming from? I'd better just leave this here. Good idea, it's probably cursed or haunted. Or both. That's it, back that ass up. Now, where is that all important cable that I need for my phone? Or for the phone? Oh, here it is. Okay, maybe not. Shit, I've got to get my lighter on now. Okay, enough with the telekinesis. <laughs> well, that was pretty anticlimactic. Okay, I got my DSL cable here, or my phone cable, whatever. Alright, we're back here again. Okay, now it's Santa Claus to please and get out of this crazy dump. Oh, yeah, I forgot to use the inventory. Yay, my degree in phone repair finally came in useful. Oh, no, never mind. All we got is static. Back to the drawing board. Wait. Hello? We all know you are here. You can't hide. You can't run. The darkness will consume you just as it did the other one. The other one? Do you mean Michael? What did you do to him? Uh-oh. Oh, peekaboo, I'm fucking out of here. Okay, I'm out, I'm out. Can I leave, please? Before she sucks my soul out. She's here, I've got to get out of this shop fast. My lighter isn't working. Okay, fine, just take your time turning around. That'll be of great help. Uh oh, oh shit, oh shit. What the hell, dude? Go on, get out, get out. Oh man, these tank controls. Ugh. Just on, on mouse and keyboard, they don't feel right. Besides, it doesn't help that my keyboard keys are a bit sticky. I don't know why that is, I cleaned them about two weeks ago. 
And my god, was, was there a shitload of dust underneath those keys? But yeah, they feel more stiff than they ever do, so I might have to upgrade to mechanical keyboard at some point. Oh, uh, by the way, I should mention, it's my birthday next week, so, uh, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, what the hell is coming my way? Something with wings, no doubt. Oh! That got eaten alive by vultures. Okay, so, this was Dark Silence. Okay, well, it wasn't bad. I mean, the only gripe I had with it was the controls, or at least the running. It was very, very slow, very, very heavy, and very, very clunky. I think that needs some optimization. Other than that, I suppose it was fine as a first attempt at uh, an any horror game. And like I said, and like I said, the intro was absolutely astounding. Not many indie horror games, especially free ones, that you find on Game Jolt have that nowadays. Uh, wait, hold on. Is there something else happening here? Feels like there, that there's an alternate ending going on here. Or a uh, to be continued. Oh no. There we go. Dark silence. That was it. So go... Oh, hold on. What? Where am I? Oh, so we're not done. Aha, so this might be a to-be-continued type of thing. Maybe there might be a part two or a sequel. Or maybe it might be a thing that goes on Kickstarter. Who knows, but although I'm not really a fan of Kickstarter games. Or Indiegogo games. because uh, it's that, Is that music again? Oh no. Yeah, as I said, I don't really like Kickstarter games or Indiegogo games. Uh, games because the majority of them end up failing or not meeting their goal or something else or some other bullshit excuse I know I really shouldn't say things like that but still that's just how I feel personally alright White Mountain Hospital we are here to take good care of you well, the aesthetic of the hospital here seems to... It begs to differ. Can I run? No, I can't. And again with the Michael Bay flare effects. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that is my only other gripe. The flare and and the polish. I mean, look at... There's no need for, for this. There's no need for any of this. You don't need to blind me with flares or try and wow me with the needless sheen or polish here. I mean, look at that. I've never once seen a shiny wall unless, of course, it was marble. And this, these walls, they don't seem to be made of marble. Unless, of course, uh, the owner of the hospital or whoever manages it happens to be a billionaire and can afford for all walls to be made of marble. Yeah, okay, I guess we're leaving now. Oh, hold on. Plot twist. We're not. <gasps> the darkness. It comes for me. Okay. Here's where I die. Again. Boo. Okay, I think this is it now. Yeah, it's gotta be it. Alright. Dark silence. Look at how a single candle can both defy and define the darkness. And Frank. Thanks for playing. Alright, and thank you, developer, for making this game free. Uh, final thoughts. Uh, it, it, it was alright. Not really scary. But I suppose it's definitely a hell of a lot better than Insomnus was. So guys, you know what to do if you did like this video. Be sure to comment, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, and of course, most importantly, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. So, until next time, see ya.